Hey y'all, welcome to chapter, oh, sorry, fifth grade, chapter nine, lesson seven. We're gonna go and get started with number two. Number one, I already did for you. If you have an example, number two, we're gonna go ahead and do. It's telling you that whatever the top number is, you're gonna multiply that bottom number by four, okay? So you're gonna multiply the top number by four to get the bottom number, okay? So one times four is four, two times four is eight, three times four is 12, four times four is 16, well, five times four is 20, okay? So, multiply the number of quarts by four to find the number of cups. That's what we did, okay? So now we're gonna go ahead and plot those really fast, okay? So over one, up to four, boom, okay? Over two, up to eight, done. Over three, up to 12, done. Over five, no, oh, sorry, over four, up to 16, and then, over five up to 20 okay so they want you to label those so they want you to do the one four two eight they want you to write those above these my markers are too fat to do that um so it would just look like a hot mess but it wants you to write these above these okay so go ahead and do that okay now it says how can you use the graph for exercise two to find how many cups are in nine quarts. Well, we could follow the line, okay? So we could extend the line, okay? Or we could take, it wants to know how to use the graph. So it's not gonna be take nine, multiply it by four to get 36. It's going to be extend, the line on the graph through nine, okay? And that's it, okay? Now, how many cups are equal to nine quarts? Well, we're multiplying it by four up here. So we're gonna go nine times four, and that's how we would show our work, so it would be 36, okay? All right, so we're gonna go into the back now, okay? That's all you have to write on that line. That's enough to make things for your teacher, so don't worry, okay? So we're gonna go into the back where you guys are gonna do the lesson check, and we're gonna go down to the style review, okay? So a biologist counted 10,000 migrating monarch butterflies. How do you express 10,000 as a power of 10. Well, we love this because, okay, our base is 10, okay? Now, your exponent is going to be how many zeros you have. So one, two, three, four, 10 to the fourth. You're done, guys. That's as hard as it gets on that one, okay? Find the quotient and write your answer using a decimal rounded to the nearest hundred, okay? So, let me grab a piece of scrap paper, okay? And we're gonna go eight, four, two, six, divided by, which parent we're gonna need, eight, two. So, hundredth means two places after the decimal. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my decimal and put two zeros because that will give me how many places it wants me to round to, okay? I actually will put a third one because we're rounding to that one, okay? If we're rounding to that one, we need to know what this one is because if it's five or bigger, we have to round up, right? Okay, so I am going to, over on this side, write down multiples of 82 because I'm sure just like you, we don't know our multiples of 82. So I'm gonna go 82 plus 82, okay? So I'm gonna have, actually now I'm gonna write it on a separate piece of paper just so that we've got them here, okay? So 82, 164, 246. Notice that I am not using this to do my math. I am only using my calculator to find my multiples, okay? That is okay. It is not okay for you to use your calculator to do your math. 
Okay, you will not learn anything by doing that. Okay, so let's stop there for now. We've got them, we know what they are, okay? So, now, 82, I'm not gonna go into eight, but it will go into 84 one time. One times 82 is 82. Subtract, I'm gonna get two. Two is definitely smaller than 82, so I'm gonna bring down this two. Now, 82 is not gonna go into 22, so I just need to put a zero, okay? Now, because 22 is still smaller than 82, I can go ahead and bring down that six, okay? So now, 82 is gonna go into 226, it looks like the closest we're going to get is 164. So that's one two times. Two. Two times 82 was 164. Subtract. Okay. Six minus four is two. Two cannot take away six. So I'm going to borrow one, making it 12. 12 minus six is six. And then one take away one is nothing. So we'll keep it there. Okay. Now. 62 is smaller than 82, so I can go ahead and bring down my zero, okay? Now, 620, the closest we're gonna get without going over is 574. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. And that was 574, okay? When I subtract, okay, two, or sorry, zero cannot take away four, so I'm gonna borrow one making it 10, 10 minus four is six. One can't take away seven, so I'm gonna borrow one of these, making it 11, 11 minus seven is four, okay? Now, 46 is smaller than 82, so I can go ahead and bring down my next one, okay? Now, the closest we're gonna to get to 460 without going over is gonna be 410, and that was one, two, three, four, five times. Five times 82 is 410. Subtract, I'm gonna get 50, okay? And now 50 is smaller than 82, so I'm gonna bring down that last zero there, okay? Closest we're gonna get is 492. That's one, two, three, four, five, six times. Six times 82 is 492. Okay, now I'm gonna get eight. Okay, when I subtract, okay? So now that's definitely bigger than five. That six is. That means that when we round, this is going to go up to a six. So one, zero, two, point seven, six. Okay? Write down your work. You don't have to write your multiples down. You're good with that. But you do need to show your work. Okay? All right. All right, what is 54.38 plus 29.7? I'm gonna go ahead and put a zero there. You don't have to, but I did, okay? So I'm gonna drop my decimal very first thing. I'm gonna go eight plus zero is eight. Three plus seven is 10, carry that one. One plus four is five, plus nine is 14. 1 plus 5 is 6, plus 2 is 8, 84.08, okay? On a certain day, $1 is worth 30.23 Russian rubles. Omar has $75. How many rubles will he get in exchange? Well, so we're going to go 30.23 times 75, okay? Let's do it, guys. Five times three is 15. Sorry, that's crooked for y'all. Carry the one. Five times two is 10 plus one is 15. Carry the one. Five times zero is zero plus one is one. Five times three is 15, okay? We are going to go tic-tac-toe. And we're gonna do seven times three is 21. Carry the two. Seven times two is 14, plus two is 16, carry the one. Seven times zero is still zero, plus one is one, and seven times three is 21, okay? Now we're gonna add them up, all right? 
5 plus 0 is 5. 5 plus 1 is 6. 1 plus 6 is 7. 5 plus 1 is 6. 1 plus 1 is 2. And then bring that 2 down. Now, I do have to go in one, two places for my decimal. So your answer will be 2,267.65. And make sure that you write in there rubles. Okay, word problem, word answer, guys. Okay, and show your work. It's important, guys. All right, y'all, thanks for hanging out for not chapter nine. Come on back for chapter 10. See you soon.